It's a revolution that's best seen from the sky. The roofs of California houses covered with solar panels. Ten years ago, fewer than 100,000 buildings were equipped with them. But today, that figure is over 1.3 million. The increase in power generation boosted by efforts like this, an NGO installing free solar panels in low-income neighborhoods. The year I started, we had gotten to about 200 single-family solar installations in this city, in Long Beach. We passed that number, kept moving, kept moving and installing. Uh, my team recently passed the 2,000th house in the Los Angeles area. So we've seen the demand really skyrocket. People are really curious about solar. They want to know what's up and they want to save money. The price of panels has fallen by 80% in the last five years, but the initial investment can still cost a household $15,000 at least. The free program is the only way that some homeowners can take part in the green revolution. 155 a month minimum. So that's a lot. It's it's a lot, and it'll probably come down to maybe $30, maybe a little bit less. It's going to save quite a bit. Probably save close to $1,300 a year for the next two decades at least. Um, we have a warranty on the system. Since 2020, California law even requires that all new homes be equipped with solar power. That rule will soon apply to offices and businesses too. The transition to green energy is well underway in the Golden State. Whether it's to do with water, solar, or wind power, California does not lack the political will. The state has set a target of 100% clean electricity by 2045, and some cities like Los Angeles are already ahead. We could do it by 2035, but there are a lot of things that need to fall into place to make that happen. We actually need to build up more resources to actually deliver that energy. That includes transmission lines, that includes distribution uh, system. It's going to cost anywhere between 57 and $87 billion. And really the key to the affordability for this is not just decarbonizing the power sector, it's the role that we play in helping to decarbonize the transportation sector. More electric cars can also lower costs of providing the electricity to run them. The city of Los Angeles is installing fast electric car chargers free of charge to property owners. It costs, um, if I were to purchase it, I think it's about $750. Plus, it would have cost maybe another $500 to have the wiring done. But the power company paid for all of that to encourage people to buy electric cars. So this was completely free, and it's been here for 10 years. The aid has helped propel California to become the state with the most electric vehicles. Yet EVs still only account for 10% of new car sales. For Richard, the reluctance among consumers is easy to explain. Other than the cost, I think the biggest challenge of the electric car for me is when I'm driving a long distance is worrying about whether the, um, the, there's going to be a charger that is free. But California has the most developed charging network in the United States, which counts 14,000 public ports. Sharing those with everyone can be challenging because three to four hours is needed for an average EV to fuel up. If somebody's already done charging and they don't move their car when they're done, now I'm waiting for somebody who's, who's just off shopping somewhere or who just doesn't care. The Golden State will double down on its efforts to embrace EVs, and the governor has promised that they will soon represent 100% of new cars sold by 2035. I think it will be very difficult, or at least extremely costly, to actually achieve that goal, literally, uh, because still there has to be several thousand dollars in subsidies in order to get electric vehicles cost competitive with gasoline cars. In other parts of the state, innovation is at work. This startup in South Los Angeles claims to have found the solution to the problem of charging time. Innovate has raised over 100 million euros from investors to create a new kind of battery. We have Renault Nissan Alliance as one of our investors, along with LG and Samsung. And with uh, Renault, we are doing a joint development agreement uh, work to uh, commercialize this technology. The revolution is underway in this laboratory. Here, silicone replaces some of the rare materials used in traditional batteries. Less polluting, these new batteries are also more efficient. Our technology with the silicon dominant anode and cell technology, uh, it's the, we call five minute extreme fast charge. Now you can go uh, travel 
and have a fast charge capability, same as with cars with gas engine. It's all happening fast, and new cars could be equipped with the technology as early as next year. California wants to lead the way in going green. And after beating previous records, it's now focusing on a new goal to reduce nearly half of all emissions by 2030.